A mother's love for her child is like nothing else in the world. It knows no loss, no pity. It dares all things and crushes down remorselessly all that stands in its path, said by Agatha Christie. Today we find such a courageous and loving mother in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 15, 21 to 28. The Canaanite mother who pleads for her sickly daughter. This passage invites us to remember our own mothers about whom we have fresh and evergreen memories of praying on her knees for each of her children. The hardships, sacrifices, fastings, the struggles she undergo while pleading for the family and children are always rewarded. The great responsibility a mother shares in holding together the family in prayer and love is admirable. It is good to ask ourselves how often we are on our knees pleading for our family, life partner, children and community. How intense is our prayer for them? Are we determined in our prayer like the Canaanite woman in the gospel? Jesus calls us to be his ambassadors. We Christians are the mediators between Jesus and the people around us. We are called to become powerful intercessors for the people in need. So we have no days left without falling on our knees for others. Our hope and faith increases each time when we pray in humility for people in need. We see the power of intercession through this miracle. We have a lot more examples in the life of saints and history of the church. We find saints like Saint Monica, Saint Teresa of Child Jesus, Saint Alphonsa and so on, who interceded for people. God did great things through their intercession. Jesus wants to make you and me a powerful intercessor for many. The Gospel passage explains three ways to put our needs before God. First one is cry out our need to God. Second is kneel before Him, fall at His feet, submit our will, our ego in humility. Third is to accept God's plan, agree with His will and hope that God will do something in our life. The woman says, That is true, sir, but even the dogs eat the crumbs of bread that falls. She knew that it is not right to ask Jesus, but, Jesus, but she finds her own reason. Her logic is that she has all the right to own the leftovers, the crumbs of bread. We May not get everything what we ask for, but believe God will do something in our life and the life of the people for whom we ask for. We need to place our need, we need to submit ourselves in humility, we need to accept His will, we need to hope and believe that God can and will do something in our life. Let His will be done. Let us repeat the words of woman in the gospel. Help me, Lord. Let us believe in God's power. Amen.